Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Well, your, o your overall energy is the Four of Cups. So sadness, um, sadness, regret, loss, um, despair. You know, feeling alone, feeling sad, feeling heartbroken, you know? That's the overall energy for you, Divine Masculine. <sighs> Ouch. Um, yeah, that's... But you know what, though? Everything happens for a reason, right? Anyway, um, uh, we're starting out your reading here with the, with the Four of Cups. Okay, the Four of Cups. So... Basically, um, you've been bored in a relationship that you're in. You're, you're bored. Um, this is, if you look really close at this picture, see the, the, ma the main focus for me, I don't know if you can see her or not, is the, the woman in blue. They're, they're both looking at the woman in blue, like waiting for that woman to, to talk, to speak, and she's just, she's old. She's, old. she's getting older as she sits there. Okay. <laughs> All right. And, um, and it's right next to the, um, uh, the Knight of Pentacles here, which is telling me also that this is the slowest moving Knight of the deck. I think you're also getting bored with, um, this being kind of stagnant. It just feels very stagnant to me. And I think you're kind of like, <sighs> you know, um, ready to go kind of. Okay, because you've got some important cups in here too, right? You've got the sadness, the regrets, the boredom, um, despair, um, you know, sadness, brokenheartedness, sitting here in stagnancy. Um, you you want to put all of your troubles into this boat here and move on to calmer waters. You, you want to go to something brighter, something calmer, right? Kind of like the sun, maybe? You want, to, you want to put your stuff in this boat here and go off to the sun, which is your happiness. That would be your happiness, Divine Masculine. And that would be um, the Ace of Cups, which is the Holy Grail of love, all right? That you, can, you consider your happiness... All right, but you're a wounded warrior. I mean, it, it almost feels like you've actually fought for this, even though there's no movement whatsoever. None. No, if there's any movement at all, it's very, very slow. Um, I, I feel that... I feel that off of the... Off of this um, Knight of Pentacles, that... You really do want to make an offer. You really want to do want to up, want to approach your ten of cups, okay? Which is your abundance and love, and well, this is just abundance, love, happiness, wish fulfillment, okay? You know, a true bond with someone. Did I say nine of cups? Ten of cups. This is like happiness, abundance, everything. All right, and this again, happiness. This is the happiest, happy, happy, happiness card in the happy, happy deck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm feeling really goofy today. I was so tired last night. Okay, listen to this. I did a reading last night, <laughs> and it was really, really late. Now, it's, I'm coming off of a week, two weeks of nonstop demolition, my my business bought a bigger building, a huge ass building, actually. And um, I'm one of the people on the on the teams for for demo. So all I've done is demo, and I was so beat last night. I listened to my video this morning. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed because I was so tired. Oh, well, that was the one for cancer. Anyway, um, I feel much better today, and I'm in a great mood, and I'm super psyched about later, and, you know? Anyway, moving on. 
But anyway, um, yeah, you. I feel that you very much do want to want to make an offer. You want to at least talk about something stable. You 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 want to go to your ten of cups here and and talk, or open some kind of communication. Okay, but you're moving so slow, um, and I feel it's because number one, you're healing. I think this relationship was just, you know, I feel that it was just draining, draining, draining the relationship that you've been in, which you may still be in, by the way. We haven't gotten to that part yet. But um, I, I believe you are trying to heal. I do believe you do want to bring balance. I, I believe that um, you are having some faith that that you can make an offer that you can get moving and, and get your your ten of cups and then the sun really that you should be moving maybe faster I don't know I just feel like the stagnancy is maybe you know your stagnant the stagnancy and slow movement it, it, I just feel like it's Okay, anyway, this goes here and this goes here. Okay, but you know, you, you do want to bring balance. You are trying to heal. I, I believe you are um, having some faith in the situation as well. But the, the issue is, is that you just don't know everything yet. There's so much that you don't know. That you, there, there may be secrets, lies, and deception. I don't know on either your side or... Um, or your person's side, okay? But the light hasn't been shed on everything yet. That's, <laughs> I don't know a better way to for me to, this is how I see this card. Not all of that light has been shed on everything. And if it has, it's been mysterious light at best, okay? So it's really hard to kind of see clearly which side is which, you know? to make a distinction in anything and and because of what you don't know i think that makes you kind of perhaps hesitant moving slowly because you do are you are pointed in the right direction and it, you know and you do want to go to the those calmer waters and you know something more sunshiny and bright and happy, 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 divine masculine. No, your ten of cups, which happens to be the holy grail. Cups are also stand for water signs: Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Pentacles, Earth signs. Yeah, but you know, you're you. It, it is almost as if. You are the wounded warrior. You can't, this is, these have been burdens. This is burdening. This has been burdening you. You're at a nine here, right? Nine. Um, this is a wounded warrior. You need to just fall on your knee here and take a breather for a second. Because you've been through a battle. And you know you have to, there's still more to get done. You're all, you're so close though. You're so close. To com completing that battle, okay? But this is the wounded warrior having to take a knee and just take a, you know, just, whew, holy crap, that's hard. That was hard. You know, that kind of feeling? Um, yeah, because you know what? This is, it, it's just something, that, the Ten of Swords is just having all that you can take the divine themselves are stopping holding back these demons that have been in this person's mind because they know that it, this is all you can handle this is all you can stand this is the ten of swords divine masculine and it happens to be your central focus like if this is your central focus dude you are over the top stressed out. What are you stressed out over? Well, this Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. It, it's, 
the Queen of Pentacles and the, and the fact that, um, once again, Five of Cups. So that, that, you know, this is sadness. This is your central fault, or this is your overall um, energy. Five of Cups, Five of Cups, once again. Overall energy, central focus, this is what clarified it. This is your central focus. This was this clarified it. This is heartbreak. This is um, what have I done? Or what how am I gonna fix this? Or well, look at all of that I've lost. Or um it could be a number of things, however it resonates with you. Yeah, you had been working on some type of stable foundation. So, like, this is how I always see this card. You went from a two, where you were kind of juggling a little bit, um, to a three, right? So, the three of pentacles now. So, you made some choices, made some decisions, and they were able to grow. So, you were working on building something here. You're building something here. You know you have to go further. You know there's more work to do, but you this is the process. This is a this is the action of building onto something stable. And now you feel like this. Oh god. I mean it's a loss. I can feel it because you know what this is that's you. That's your central focus. This is you. You can't, you can't can't take any more of the burdens. Okay? You can't take any more of the heartbreak. But here we have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? You know, this is this is somebody who's very stable, somebody who's very very grounded. She she's grounded. Her sign. Um She's focused on home, finances, stability. Um, she's focused on commitment. Um, relationships have to be stable and committed. I mean, you know, she she thinks with she thinks logically with a logic mind. She's logic minded <laughs> do you say that I don't know anyway um, she she's not the most affectionate person and I just ever I feel her is kind of dry doesn't she's not very affectionate you know not really cold but not you know and I, I feel that it, as part of your central focus here, I feel that you just know. You know you can sense or you want this wheel to turn. Because here's your stagnancy here, right? Remember? It was stagnant. There's not, oh, there's not a lot of movement. If there is, it's very, very slow. You know that the wheel has to turn on this, on this. The wheel has to turn on this, okay? Because there's already been enough destruction. Sorry. There's already been destruction, okay? And it's almost like this is the feeling that I got when I pulled these cards out, Divine Masculine. You feel like the wheel has to start turning on this situation and normally when that happens when the wheel turns it can turn in your favor or turn against you but either way a cycle has to this has to cycle through you know this to me is kind of like the cycle right that wheel turning it's something new all right a passionate or a new beginning in love new beginning in love that's what you want that's your happiness Okay, but you know, you've, you've been burdened, you've been really burdened to the point where you can't handle it anymore. Both, this is your overall feeling and under your burdens, okay? 
is heartache, pain, loss, suffering. Okay? And in, why? Because of the Queen of Pentacles. Over a Queen of Pentacles. Because of a Queen of Pentacles. Either way, you need the world. You need the wheel to turn on this. The wheel has to turn. You know it's time. Everyone can sense that it's time for some reason. Because it's time. It's time. You can't take any more of it. Look. This guy is dead. He's done. No more, says the divine. The divine says no more. I mean, when it's, when it's, when that's it, it's it. Then the wheel has to turn on what may be your current situation right now that you may, all, you may be in, a, um, she's, a, she's about commitment. So you may be committed here to the queen of pentacles. Okay. She's about stability. And it's almost like though, when the, that this wheel may have already turned to say, and when the destruction came, the truth came out in spades and uh, literally in spades, stabbing, stabbing truth, cutting truth in quickly. When the destruction came, I don't know if this will make sense, but I'm seeing this for at least a, a small portion of you. Um, this Queen of Pentacles here, I see her as being, you, Divine Masculine, you're in a pre-existing um, commitment with a Queen of Pentacles, okay? Um, and that wheel needs to turn because you've gone through the completion, you've taken as much as you can bear, and the Divine is even saying no more, okay? Um, and, you know, if the wheel turns, Divine then it, it, it may cause some destruction. Someone may cause some destruction here to the relationship. And when that happens, the truth, the truth, the clarity is going to come in, come in and be cutting, but at least the clarity is coming. Okay, now that's for a portion of you. For another portion of you here, for the rest of you, it would be that... Um, that this, you know, the wheel needs to turn, the cycle needs to come to an end so a new cycle can begin, right? And we've got what you want here with the sun. Um, and in order to do that, there has to be some destruction. Um, and the truth needs to come in and swiftly be spoken, bluntly, if need be. Okay. All right, let's see what we have for you, Divine Masculine, for a oh, possible outcome here. What's the possible outcome, Divine, for this situation, for the Divine Masculine, for the remainder of February Temperance? Here we have Temperance a second time, okay? And I'm not taking reversals, by the way, and the Six of Wands, okay? Okay. So this is telling me that you, you know, you're having faith. You're trying to find a balance, okay? You're having faith. You're trying to find a balance. You want to be recognized as a winner, a leader, um, someone who is an achiever. You want to be recognized as this is an achievement. Um, you want to be recognized in high regard, okay? Um, what else can you show me for the possible outcome for the divine masculine? And you're having faith. I don't, if they don't come flying out, I usually don't let them. Um, they've got to seriously come out. You're having faith that, that you'll be recognized and be able to achieve what you want to achieve here. And be recognized for it, yeah. Aha, uh -huh, here we have it again. Oh, okay. Um, as in this is in your possible um 
outcome here for the rest of February, Divine Masculine. So you're having faith. You're having faith and trying to find balance so that um, you're, you're being faithful that you can you can pull this off and come across as achieve the thing that you want to achieve, okay? Which I believe is your Ace of Cups, okay? And your, your Ten of Cups, happiness, and your Sun, happiness, okay? <laughs> All of your happiness and, and you, you're having faith that you can... You can do this. You can achieve it. Um, I'm also getting that you're you're having faith and trying to be balanced because you want others to see you um, in high regard. Okay, someone who achieves things, someone who's a winner, someone who should be celebrated in some way. Okay, but I also see you know there's there's battles that are coming up for you. Um, Battles that are coming up, uh, or th this could also be competition. You may have some competition. Um, however, the, here's the Wheel of Fortune again. The second time, remember? That wheel wants to turn. It wants to turn. The universal energies want to turn that wheel. Okay? Because you're, you know, you're already overburdened. You, you need to take a breather either even because you're the wounded warrior. You've been through a battle. Um, you're broken hearted. You've suffered a loss. Um, I get the feeling off the six of wands that you may have suffered somewhat of a, a bump in um, your reputation as well or how someone else views you. I feel that you feel this is important for others to see you this way. That's the feeling that I'm getting. The feeling that I'm getting, honestly, Divine Masculine, is that you're trying to balance the situation out. You, you know, you want happiness. You want this. You want it. But in order to get it, I think you're, you're having a very difficult time um, and competing possibly with others. And you're trying to let others view you. You want others to view you as, you know, being on top, basically. Being on top. And, you know, and he, here's the thing. that The only way to get there is for, you know, you to work on you and not worry so much about how they feel about you. But that's all about you. <laughs> so anyway, divine masculine. Um, yeah, you may you may feel that you have some competition here in getting what you want and getting that achievement. Okay, and you may have to face some battles for this. Um, but that wheel needs you know that don't you you possibly may even be trying to fight this wheel from turning. Okay, because you really do want, you want the Ten of Pentacles, so you want that happy home life, happiness, happiness, happiness. This came across the Queen of Pentacles, so you may find that there's something about her that's very, very stable, that you want this, you know, this could be what you're going for here, is the Queen of Pentacles. Either way, this... Look, you got the Wheel of Fortune twice in your reading. The Wheel of Fortune, okay? Dude, I don't think you understand. <laughs> that wheel's going to turn, buddy, okay? The wheel's going to turn. But, honestly, I you know, after the wheel, the, the Ten of Pentacles came out. This is total abundance and happiness, happy life. Happy family, happy wife, um, great finances, like everything is wonderful and abundant and like sparkly and twinkly and everything, okay? So that wheel could very well be turning in your, in your favor, but you're going to have to fight for it. You're, you know, there's the, you're going to have to battle with this for this. You're going to have to put in... I don't know, you may, you may have competition. You may have to argue for this. 
You may have to fight. You're going to have to fight for this if you want to achieve it. But balance yourself out and have faith. Because that wheel, that wheel, she is a turning. <laughs> Here it goes, man. <laughs> Thank you again, Divine Masculine, for showing up. And um, um, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> my boyfriend's calling. My boyfriend's calling. 